I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Raiders of the Lost Ark. Essentially one of my favorite movies of all time because this movie is classic. This is one of the best movies that Steven Spielberg has ever made. I love the entire Indiana Jones trilogy. And I say trilogy, we're not gonna talk about that movie. I have watched each one of these films in numerous times. However, I know exactly which ones I've watched the most. In terms of having watched it the least to having watched it the most, it would go Temple of Doom, Raiders, and Last Crusade. I love Last Crusade. Raiders of the Lost Ark is the first introduction of Indiana Jones, and it's the brainchild of George Lucas and Steven Spielberg, combining all of these old comics, serial comics that they had from the time, and bringing both of their best talents, George's writing, Steven's directing, and putting them together into something that is literally timeless. Punching Nazis in the face never gets old. This is Harrison Ford's character, in my opinion. I know everyone loves Han Solo, but this, this is his character. There's a reason why he loves this character so much that he wants to do a completely unnecessary fifth movie. Not only is this an homage to the serial comics that George and Steven grew up with, this is also an homage to all of the old action films and western films that made iconic action and stunt sequences. One of the most insane parts of the big truck chase in the middle of the film was a direct homage to Stagecoach. Tons of people have talked about this film, they've analyzed it, they've talked about it. There are some people who even even say that without Indy's interference that nothing about this movie would have changed and I beg to differ he did blow up the plane there yeah there's that debate if they had opened the ark in Germany then maybe all of Germany would have been destroyed but mm, I'll never get tired of watching this film from the ball rolling down to the last shot of the box being put into this mass room of other unknown and unresearched artifacts every shot in this movie is iconic every line is memorable Every moment is a treasure. Some of my favorite parts in this movie include Marion beating the guy at the drinking game, Jones's introduction via shadow to Marion, the fight scene in the bar, the chase scene through the city where Indiana Jones literally murders a guy because Harrison Ford was sick and he didn't want to do a fight scene, the really, really cool discovery of the map room and the music, the really haunting music by John Williams, which by the way, the music is amazing. The music is wonderfully done by John Williams. Da 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 da. Can whistle that for days. I have whistled that so many times in public that I've heard other people start to hum along to it. It is that iconic of a theme song. I know people love Star Wars but the Indiana theme is my favorite theme. The discovery of the Ark itself, getting out of the Ark room after they're caught in there, the fight scene around the prototype aircraft, the chase scene with the trucks, which really, I believe Chris Stuckman might have done something about this, but if you wanted the perfect action sequence, if you wanted action in film encapsulated into one scene from any movie, it's this one, this is it. You have the hero going after a goal. You have him in a very dangerous situation. We see him being thwarted. We see him having obstacles. We see him getting hurt. We feel peril for this character. We see him going above and beyond the normal statutes to attain this goal. We have fantastic music accompanying it. We have great action and stunt sequences accompanying all of it. And it ends just magnificently. They go to the island, Jones gets captured, and they open up the ark and the scene that forever traumatized my childhood happens. I... I had a lot of nightmares about this scene. Last Crusade did this too, and I remember screaming as a kid. I think I watched The Last Crusade before I watched Raiders, because I remember screaming really loudly at that scene too. Raiders of the Lost Ark is one of those films that deserves to be in the top 100 of anyone's list. It's, it's in my top 10. There are so few, if any, problems with this movie that they are so minuscule because they are absolutely outmatched by the gravity of the amazing filmmaking that was put into this film. Sure, there's some problems with Temple of Doom, which granted, there's a few. Few name being Willie, but this is one of the best movies to watch on the big screen. In fact, I actually watched it at my drive-in theater. They were doing a double header of both Raiders and the Temple of Doom, and when I saw that, I bought my tickets almost on the spot. I was like, I'm freaking going. So in the end, 
obviously Raiders of the Lost Ark gets a 7 out of 7 from me. This is one of my favorite films of all time. It's one of John Williams' best score pieces in terms of themes. And that guy has done a lot of goddamn themes. I've never been a person for cosplay. I've never been one to kind of dress up for any of these events. However, I did do it twice. And you're seeing some of the outfit that I wore. This hat, by the way, isn't even from an official hat seller. I actually got this from a gas station. The hat's a little bit bent, like there's, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but, but this hat was $20 and I have bought a hat that was 50 and the hat that was 50 doesn't look as good as this one does. I even got a friend to buy me a full on whip for the outfit. Obviously it's not the right whip. This is not black. This is a whip that we got from Texas because the only ones that I could find on Canadian eBay were those tiny little kid ones. I was like, I ain't walking around with that tiny little kid shit. The only thing I don't have is a prop gun, which I've been kind of meaning to, but at the same time, I know there's a lot of issues you go through for going to conventions or whatnot with a fake gun. I know there's something to do with like capping it or something, but I just avoid the situation entirely. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a reason why Indy's on the back wall here. This is one of my favorite films of all time. I can't wait to talk to you about Temple of Doom because while that movie may have some issues, it also is a fantastic action movie. It also has one of the greatest posters of all time, which used to be on my wall when I took it down because I said I was gonna put it in a frame and I haven't done that yet, so I should probably really do that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.